I made a mistake. Um, this is the shortened version that will be much, much easier. And I had a great plan. I had three balls, and I really wanted to make sure, like, getting into the stage was juggling. But unfortunately, getting to know the city was much more important for me and was much more fun. So right now I can just juggle with one ball. But I will need them. I will use them later. And getting the know the, the city and getting the know whatever, it's a really important thing. And I like to explain you how I'm working and what's the my way of thinking about not only open data but about knowledge. I saw this baby dump bumpers and I really wanted to get something more, more information. And when I started to acting as an activist, it was like five, six uh, years ago, I read in a, in a newspaper some information that my city is working with some NGO. I never heard about that NGO. So I started to search information. Uh, who based them, what they, what they are doing. On the internet, I found nothing. So I was uh, started to dig in information, what is going on. And I realized that, okay, maybe in the city hall, they have some analysis or reports of their statues, what they are doing. So it was December, I just went to the city hall, and I was just walking by uh, the city hall, and I saw like this wall cabinet with some book inside. And I said, okay, I will leave it later. But wait a minute, what's that? That's the city budget just benched to the to the vault in this in this cabinet. And I said, what the hell? <laughs> Who is going to read a book like 400 pages with tables and numbers standing on the wall? <laughs> Come on. But OK, I live it. I, I came here for the information, so I uh, went to the room, asked for the information that I needed. And of course, I realized that uh, the newspaper just gives some bullshit. It wasn't true. So I was searching for the information, and I found it. I can just uh, trust that information uh, put it in the, in the newspaper is true, but no, I'm getting more information. I'm, I'm searching for them. That's my way of thinking. But going back to the budget, I decided, OK, if there is a budget, there is probably some consultation. So again, I started to search for information about the budget. And hopefully, that's not only the way uh, of publishing budget, it was also on the internet. But in what format? Scan, PDF. So sorry, I don't feel like having pleasure reading something like, I don't know, telephone book. It's not so funny. That's why I asked my city hall, could you give this budget, this book, in some open format? And they said, our system cannot export it as an open format. <laughs> what the hell? So, I can't believe, but I didn't. So I write an email to the producer of this uh, software, ask them how to export that format. They gave me a special page, I sent it to the city hall, and I received open format. Last five years, I'm receiving this open format budget every year. So yeah, this is my way, of, uh, my way of thinking. And when I get that open format, I started, uh, I collect my friends who is also reading the budget, it's five people I know who is re reading that, that book, and we started to explain people how the city budget is working. And we gave up by um, telling people, okay, you have five billions on that, seven billions on, um, on culture, two billions on uh, roads or something. No. We started to explain people exactly what the amount of money means to them. So, if you want to plant a tree, City Hall has to spend uh, almost 500 uh, slotes. 500 that would be... Okay, count it, please. <laughs> if you want to plant a brush, that would be uh, 10 Taiwan dollars. So, 
that's, that's the amount of money that you can understand. So it's much easier if I will tell you that if you destroy that trash, we as a society, as a city, citizens, need to spend uh, $10. It's easier. So we started to, to make it. We started to explain it and we started to um, convince people to take part in a consultation. And for the last five years, uh, from the amount of people like uh, 15 taking part in the consultation, it's now it's over 1,000 people understanding how the city budget is working and how they can influence on the city budget. So we started, and what we are doing is to getting people more knowledge, and we are trying to explain it to, to them. But really, really, the city budget, if you don't have the context and when you don't have the information, you will not find information that public library is spending only 3% on books. The rest is on the administration. You have, okay, we have library and they are spending uh, so much money. But only 3%. It's only on books. If you don't have this context and if you don't have this, this knowledge, you will not find it. So that's why open data is not the aim of itself. Open data is one of, one of the steps to engaging people into being involved in the citizens. Being involved in the city, being involved into being a participant. Another example, because I'm uh, also uh, working in, in my city in a sustainable transport organization, and my city trying to make <coughs> big reconstruction of work, but not telling everyone what is going on. They, they decided, okay, we will start this reconstruction, and after that we will tell citizens why we are doing it. And we said, mm, sorry, no, we wanted to know why we want to make big role in this, exactly in the city center. And they told us, total travel time will be 10 minutes shorter. And of course, journalists said, yeah, in a traffic jam city, 10 minutes, wow, it's a huge, it's a huge change. But when we started to ask questions, when did you do analysis? In what, what time? From where to where this 10 minutes will be the shorter. How can we save this save minutes? And what we gave, what we were given, and we did analysis, but not really. So did you make analysis? Did you have any data that you can prove what you just said? Mm, generally, yes, but no. So come on. If the city hall has some analysis, has some knowledge, has some data, they should give it to the citizens. They should make this uh, knowledge equal for both sides. We cannot treat uh, citizens like an idiot. If we, as a citizen, want to get to know and want to participate in the management of the city, we need to have the same level of knowledge. That's the most important. And that's why when over almost one year ago the Episo Foundation was um, searching for Open Cities uh, program coordinator, uh, I started to think, okay, last five years I was asking the city hall, not only in my city but uh, in the other cities in Poland, I was asking or uh, sending the request for the public information. And I decided, okay, maybe that, that's the time to to change the strategy, to work with the cities, to convince them to open their data. And two years ago, the program started in, in that. These people are meeting every month on, a, on this uh, Open Cities team, and they are talking about what data sets they have in that, what they can publish, what they can open, and how, what work needs to be done to open the data. So, um, two years ago, there was, I don't know, one or two press releases, and 
mostly um, no people that people don't care about the nice is making open this program. Okay, so what? But after one year practicing, so not with one but with two balls, after after one year they know exactly what is working, what data sets they have, what data sets are on paper and needs to be changed into digital form and how to change it. So after one year the city hall started to gain some awards as the innovation city, IT city, um, transparency city, and so on. And other cities just realized, wow, they did something, but they don't care about this first year of practicing. So some of the, some cities and some mayors in, the, in Poland, probably not, not only in Poland, wanted to have this wow effect here and now, immediately. I can try to juggle with three. That's one, two, one, two. <laughs> no, that's not going to happen. I can throw them three at the same time, but that's only effect wow for a, for a moment. If you want to have open data program, if you want to have um, trust in the citizens, you don't have to look only on the PR effect. You need to wait. You need to work hardly, month by month, as, as they did in Gdańsk. Hopefully, many cities in, uh, in Poland started this way, step by step, making this, this process. And here are the 10 steps what to do to open data. First, don't make revolution in your city. It doesn't have to be city, it can be even an NGO who wanted to open this data. But please, you don't have to rebuild everything in the city immediately. No, choose something small. Choose something that you already have in digital form. Then choose a topic. If you have, I don't know, five databases and you are the tourist city, maybe you should choose this tourist data set or maybe some culture or maybe something connected with business. If you don't know, ask students, business, local NGOs, ask someone who will need that data. Maybe they will tell you something important. Another, check and standardize. So, check. Is there any gaps in this, in this database? Try to keep one standard. For example, data standard, like time in the data. Do you know on, on how many ways you can um, write um, day, month, and the, and the year? Many. Probably, as, as we are all on this, uh, on this room, probably each of you can write in different formats. So choose one standard and stick to it. If you don't know which one to choose, ask other cities. Ask someone who knows something about that. If you have the same standard, you will help to the designers, to the IT, uh, to the business to make use, uh, some uses of your application, uh, of your data. And for, for me, my, uh, the most important, provide context. If I will give you right now data of GPS, okay, maybe some of you have to will have fun by searching them what that. But if I just tell you, is it what kind of city is this? Is it a tram GPS, a bus GPS, or bike GPS road? You can do almost nothing with that data. Okay, you can put it on a, on a maybe on an app. But you need context. What kind of data um, from which uh, which city? Uh, what time uh, you you have? Five. Select open format. I will not sell more because. Uh, before you just heard about open licenses, so just choose one and stick to it, and then publish data. So don't publish like immediately, yay, hooray, we are opening data. No, make this five steps before, then publish. Then make sure that your data are available on the on the website. It should be something something simple without. Uh, uh, without any login or something. It shouldn't be like citynamecom slash php slash number slash something. No, Google needs to find it immediately. So 
make sure your data are available on the internet. And then tell the world, tell the universities, tell the business, tell the NGOs, tell the local uh, civic hackers group, tell people that you have data and they can use them. And what is more important, listen to them. Maybe they will tell you what they, what they miss, what other data you can prove to them. And then, once you publish them, keep them up to date. It depends. Is it a GPS? Make it, make it um, every second, every two seconds. If it's uh, some cultural event, uh, updated, I don't know, maybe twice a day, maybe once a day, but keep it still running. If someone is using that data, they have to, they need to know that they are up to date. And when you do this, get back to the phone, one, and repeat, and start with another database. That one, you are still keep going, and then you are choosing and starting another, another part. And always remember that you have to listen to the people. Because any designer, any architect, any IT development group won't tell you as many things as users. So if you are making a consultation, if you are making any, um, any innovation in your city, first give people information and then listen what they are telling to you. Because they can have really good ideas. They can have information from the practice that you don't have. So this is what we are what we are doing and how we are um, how we are um, creating the engaged uh, citizens we are convincing both sides citizens that they can be a friend and what is uh, quite difficult we are trying to convince city halls and local governments that citizens don't buy they are friendly people, they can help, and it's really worth to listen and to talk with them. Because we won't have engaged uh, citizens if they don't have equal knowledge of the city hall. But they won't have this equal knowledge without open data. And unfortunately, we don't have open data unless the city hall, the mayor, and the local government won't open their data. Not everything at once, but just step by step. And we as a Times of Foundation, what we are doing, we are not only going to the city hall and telling them open, open data is, is good. No, we are not only showing them. We are the part of the team who is running every month in each city we are working uh, with right now. We are in the part of the process. We are explaining um, citizens and we are explaining the, um, in the city halls what should be done, what steps should be done. We are helping with moving that, that process. That, that's why most of the time I'm spending on the trains. But in fact, this is the, our way of thinking and how we feel that open data can be used by the city to engage citizens, to have real participants, not only inhabitants in the cities. Thank you.
which I would like to understand more, because you, you, can, you can get all the data with the government support. Uh, you can have them open it, like we did with the uh, with the, uh, the PDF. But um, once you get the data, how do you present it in a way that's actually engaging to the, the general citizens, to, to the normal people who doesn't really understand um, that particular piece of data? Again? At the very beginning, you need to explain people. That's why we are not only showing the, the city budget as an open format like uh, HTML or uh, CSR or whatever. We are making this information uh, form and we are convincing uh, cities and hopefully more and more cities uh, realize that it's really important to make this information sheet of paper to explain exactly. What, what is going on. So this the context is the one part uh, and the context consists this uh, information material to explain people who are just new in that topic what is going on. Because even if you have this GPS data, let's say, or, or budget, even if you get that information, okay, that's the GPS from the uh, city bytes and from the last mouth, okay. But it's also important to give like introduction. Why the city is spending money on bikes? Because of the sustainable transport, because of the environment um, issues, and so on and so on. To um, empower people and uh, provide them the basic information to understand and to make their own reflections about what is written on the next pages. So um, this is the this is the context. So we need to think a little bit wider. And in my personal opinion, this uh, context and this information, this is the work for the NGOs to explain people and give this uh, social information, not only facts, not only the data, not only open data, but also the meaning of that, of that data. Hello. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you for your energy because I think we need some examples of people who doesn't stop at the first problem. Um, I have two questions. The first is if you know any website that is able to tell the world, like is there any place in which you go and you say, okay, uh, because if there is no place like that on, online, maybe we should create one. And the second question is more specific. I'm Alessandro Mertetti de Paolo. I work with the cooperation theory. So we study the condition of cooperation. And um, uh, we've been studying the countries. And for example, we found out that uh, Azerbaijan had one of the most amazing distribution of wealth. So this wasn't true. Uh, the question is, what do you do when you find some data that is uh, not really true, that is biased? Uh, do you edit it and you show the world something that is more reliable, or you share it as it is and you make notes, for example? Thanks. Okay. Uh, so first question. I was really looking for this kind of website or something to collect information. Uh -huh. But many people uh, was also doing it and because they didn't found they started to make their own websites. So right now there's a wide range of them. So in fact right now I'm getting information from all over the world through the Twitter and through the hashtags and really it's it working. And um, I was thinking about open sending, uh, which is a platform to share the budgets. But still, it's not so popular in different parts of the world. So, yeah, there are some platforms where you can find some information, but it's not all. And I'm really afraid of making another website to collect, because you need to have uh, people to make it run. So, still updating that data. You can collect, we can collect it together even. 
on the on the um, tea break, collect the, that information for our countries, our, our cities. But come on, we need to make it up to date all the time. So that is quite uh, quite hard and quite uh, challenging, let's say. And the um, second question: What we are doing? It depends. And sometimes uh, we are trying to be friendly and telling like. You have a mistake in your database. Can you make it better or repair it? You have 12 hours. Or I, I won't post it on Facebook until 8 a.m. And really, it's working. Uh, but sometimes it's not working. So sometimes you need, you need, you need to send official letter. In this database, there is something missing. Please make it better. If it doesn't work, you can always make uh, some co conference and make a buzz in the internet, in the media, and telling, okay, they uh, show us this kind of graph, and it's not true because this is the truth. And believe me, media will get it, for sure. But that's, I think that's the only, the, the last step. You can do it once or twice. After that, when you just cross the border, the city hall will not um, be so so nice to you and won't just talk with you long, any longer. So if there is something really, really, really important, you can do this. But really, one or five, it's not working for a very long time because they will think that you are still binding him and when you started to help them, it's not working. They will not believe that you really wanted to help. Uh, the city hall will think that you um, wanted to make something to make them look like idiots. So it's better to make this uh, friendly relationship with them with the city hall.